All right, so if you look in here, I have a whole bag of pasta, and I put about about two servings of that, I can't believe it's not butter spray, with about 10 to 12 ounces of chicken. I've been nibbling on the chicken, so that's why it doesn't look like that much. Um, and I'm just kind of mixing it up like this. I'm gonna add a little, so everything can kind of get like, you know, spread around. And some of the chicken is actually from yesterday, so it's kind of cold, so I just put it in there to heat it up. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. I don't like that much pepper in my pasta at all, just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add some of this Newman's own Alfredo. Uh, let me see if I have some. Yeah, I have some Alfredo here before I open this new one. That's a new one. This is a used one. I don't want that much. This I already put butter, so I don't really need that much. And this is normal. Ooh, that's really hot. Okay, <laughs> this one's hot. Uh, ow! <laughs> Eight fat, four carb, and uh, one protein. And there's seven servings in here, so I have about. About this much left, so probably about two and a half to three servings in here. Just gonna throw it in there. And again, this is cold, so the hot pasta and everything is gonna heat everything up nicely. Get out of your kennel, come on. Oh, come on. So she's been just like, she loves her kennel. Come on, let's go. Come on, outside. Now let's go. Get out of your damn kennel. What's going on, guys? It is currently 10.20 p.m. About to go to the gym. Just gonna take one scoop of C4 as opposed to two, which I normally take. Gonna take this, and we are hitting arms and shoulders tonight, so. That's what we're doing. Got an OHP. That's, what you're like. That's my weakest lift, so I gotta focus on getting it higher. All right, back in the gym for day four of the split, which is arms and shoulders. So warming up here with the next exercise I learned from Lex. Uh, go subscribe to Lex if you guys haven't. Amazing guy, great content. Uh, what this is, it's pretty much a three-part movement. I really like it for warming up. Essentially, you're doing a side lateral with your thumbs facing up and then supersetting with a normal side lateral, but more of like a bent side lateral. You'll see right here. And then you do a front raise with your thumbs facing up and you repeat those three and uh, once you do all those three in a row, that counts as one rep. So uh, I'll warm up with like two to three sets of about about 10 reps. And uh, really, I like how it feels on my shoulders. Um, I feel like it's a really great warm up. So you guys should definitely try that out. So again, thank you, Lex, for showing me that. And uh, here, I uh, moved on to some overhead press going for five sets of five. So five by five. Really focus on getting the strength up on this movement. Uh, it's always been a weak movement for me. Um, never been a strong overhead presser, but... Then again, I've never really put my focus into it. Um, so because I'm on an overall development routine, trying to bring up everything, I am going to start incorporating these and uh, as well as seated dumbbell military presses. So I have a set shoulder routine where I'm working them twice a week uh, so I can start to bring them up. So uh, currently, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, guys, the weight I'm using here. I think I was using 125 pounds. I believe I have to look back, but it was a 35 and then a five on each side. So that's what the weight was, and uh, going to be increasing the weight every time I do the five by five, and that that is that. So um, I did complete all five sets of five with that, so that's why I'll be moving up. But I moved on to some bicep alternating dumbbell curl here, uh, trying to keep this weight to a minimum. Just kind of, I know like they're super strict form, but I kind of like just a natural kind of. If you guys can see, I'm not like swaying, I'm not struggling with the weight, but it's just a nice kind of natural movement um, and kind of tempo that I like to use. So that's what I'm doing with 40 pound dumbbells, doing the alternating focus on twisting the pinkies out as I'm going up. So uh, there you can see the 40s. And trying to stick to about the 10 rep range, um, nothing really higher per se, and nothing lower than like eight. So keep in mind, I am working biceps, uh, I think, what, two, three times total in the week with very low volume. So three total times with lower volume, higher frequency kind of training. Uh, close for bench press is another movement that I'm introducing that I will be focusing on to bring up. Um, I've always, triceps are kind of like my stronger point genetically, um, especially the long head, which is where I feel like I have the most mass, which is just really due to a lot of extensions and also overhead pressing or overhead uh, like French presses. Where you're doing anything overhead helps kind of target the long hand a little bit better but um, close grip bench is another great compound where you can really push the weight heavy get heavy weight and overload the muscle uh, here you can also see tricep extensions pretty much doing the whole stack 
uh, with the exception of a few plates, and it kind of depends on how I'm feeling. But that's going to include my commentary. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Please like the video. It really does help the channel grow, guys. I know I don't ask you guys a lot to bug you with that, but it does help the channel grow, so that will help me. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. What is going on, family? It's been an absolutely crazy day today. Uh, packaging things. Nathan's over here helping me out. We have a few more uh, hats to ship out. Got the boxes up here. That's how they look. So that's what you'll be expecting if you ordered one. And uh, new shirts are launching pretty soon. And if you guys come look at my car really quickly, it's really foggy, so it might or it's humid outside, so the lens might fog up. But uh, here we go. This is the back seat. Yeah, it's fogged up back seat and then if you guys come to the front you can just see loaded up with hats wait 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 there you go loaded up with hats so doing what I can and uh, everything else to go out within the hour so about to grab something to eat it's already 4 15 haven't eaten anything today uh, I'm just working and stuff so we'll check in with you guys in a little bit On my way to the post office and as you can see the car is absolutely just packed to the max I have uh, packages behind my seat and everything and um, just want to say thank you like freaking love you guys so much. like look at this this is just all of you um, I wouldn't be here without y'all I wouldn't have packages to ship without y'all I wouldn't have any support and it's just it's absolutely amazing um, so from the bottom of my heart thank you guys trying to make an imprint on the game